Hey guys, welcome back. So tonight I have a, probably this video should be entitled How Not to Film a Wax Haul. This is my second time filming this. I filmed it yesterday. I looked at the footage and I was like, this is crap, but this one may be even worse. <laughs> so the first one, I didn't have scent descriptions and I tried to make labels today. Thank you someone and I'm gonna put your name across the screen because I know you told me and you totally helped me out today. You can go to the Avery website and you don't have to have any sort of program to download the template. You can just fill in your labels, like for instance, this one right here. You can just fill in the label right on the Avery website and it'll print it out for you. Well, I'll get into that later, but I had better luck this time. I'm still trying to <laughs> figure it all out. The dang thing told me when I printed not to click a certain button and I clicked the certain button and some of them didn't print within the border of the, the sticker. So I, I had them all printed out, but I only got to put on some of them. So, and then you'll see how, what a brainiac I am when we get to certain scents. It's quite funny. All right, so Destination Wax. I kept hearing about Destination Wax. I am not one of those people to jump on board and be like, this is a new company, I need to try it, that kind of thing. I also feel like I don't need to be super thorough because I feel like you guys have probably seen a bunch of Desti Destination Wax videos, so you know the drill, you know what the packaging looks like. It's very pretty when it arrives to you. Everything is taken with great care. Uh, and, and since I did the video yesterday, all of the stuff is at the bottom probably that I started with, like the nice note she included with my order, the samples. So we'll just get to that as we get to it. It's just gonna be just, oh, we'll just call this a hot mess haul. How about that? And you guys can just go with me. So I ordered about six destinations and one random a Sherlock is the scent. And we will get to that. So when you open it up, the brown paper is enclosed with this washi tape. And I just think this was such a nice, cute little touch here that she added on to the package. And then when you open it up, she's got this nice little brown bag with a compass on it, which my scrapbooking hearts loves this thing. I loved stamps when I was a scrapbooker, I really did. But it's in here are your samples, which I always love samples. I'm always so appreciative to the vendors that take the time to do samples. I think it's a nice idea. Not only that, but it's smart. I think it's like smart because I almost always get a sample of something that I would have never tried and I end up liking it and placing a second order. So I think in that regards, it is smart to include samples, whether it's just one or two, you know, just a few. You don't got to give us like 10 or anything. I'm always appreciative. So thank you so much. So we will get to the samples that were in here. It was nicely tied with a ribbon or a brown tie, I think. And then it had a note attached to it. So there's that. So I got six destinations and I don't have the stinking receipt. So I can't, <laughs> I can't look and see, but I, I'm pretty sure. Well, I know this one based on this one right here. I got the coffee sampler. So I'll try to, uh, you know, I'm just gonna pull them out. It's honestly such a hot mess. They were, each destination was put in a bag like this. Super nice, of course, now it looks like crap. But, and then she uses ribbon to tie them with, which was a super nice touch. So all the destinations come packaged in one pack. So this is not how they come, the way in the order that I'm going. Okay, so I had to let the dog out and I can guarantee you in about five minutes, the dog is gonna be barking and I'm gonna have to shovel him back in. So this is going perfectly, swimmingly well. So this is the first thing and I have a funny story about these. The first time I heard, I don't even, I still don't know what these are called. Are these lily putts, lily puds? The first time I heard it, I thought the person said lily F-U-C-K. So when I actually put in my order, I told her I, want, I didn't care if they were scent shots or the Lily F-U-C-K. So I'm going to call them Lily Pucks because honestly, I, that's how I'm going to remember them now. I, that's, just, that's just the way my head works. So I don't, are they, like what is a Lily Pud or Put or, I, I have no idea. Anyways, they are very pretty though. I do, like it's almost like they're embossed on top, like a stamp. You know somebody takes a stamp and like embosses them and then some of them look like they have like a bit of like a like a what's the word i'm looking for a glaze or a tarnish or something it's kind of cool so this first one here is 
well I got the coffee destination or destination coffee or coffee house or whatever in the hell it is so this is coffee peppermint mocha I really am liking coffee scents lately and this is just your standard coffee uh, peppermint mocha like if you were to go to Starbucks and get a peppermint mocha that's definitely what I smell out of that one I'm not gonna pull every all the lily pucks <laughs> out and there goes the dog perfect timing I love it <laughs> okay let's see if I can grab another okay so now this is where Brainiac comes in coffee orange vanilla so I thought hey I need to put a a scent description on that because I can't figure out what coffee orange vanilla white what that might smell like so yeah that was I was like why did I make a label for that why did I waste the time on that I don't know anyways it says light, light coffee laced with orange and vanilla how about that people <laughs> coffee orange vanilla so yeah I wasn't too smart on some of the label making this one actually is not that strong on the coffee. It's more of like an orange vanilla to me. I'll see when I warm it if that coffee comes out a little bit more. Let's see if we can get another coffee one. This again, sorry, I was trying to, <laughs> trying to rearrange. Okay, so this one, on this one you definitely get the coffee with a kind of a sweet milk note, but it's not like a sugar milk to me. Like I don't really like sugar milk, so that works in my favor. Okay, so then we're gonna be jumping around a little bit. So this is either from the London destination, I think, London Calling. And this one is black tea, lemon, and sugar. If I remember correctly, this one was like a, a tea with lemon. Yeah, and that's why I smell tea with lemon. I've been interested in tea scents lately, so tea the I got the tea room as well I got the London one and the um, the London destination and then the tea room I think is what is it was called so Lady Grey so we're just going in no particular order this is probably from the tea room a blend of black teas infused with a hint of bergamot oil and lemon pill a very relaxing scent So this one is actually kind of nice because it's like that tea note, but it's um, it's got like a sweetness to it. And I think I can smell bergamot oil because it kind of reminds me of Lush. Lush uses a lot of bergamot oils in their bath bombs and bath products and stuff. So, all right. I also got, okay, so I don't remember, I can't remember what the one was. I think it was like Halloween maybe or some sort of Halloween type thing. A lot of the scents in this destination called out to me and I love Halloween. So I was just like, oh, I was all over it. The Goblin's Bride. And this is Rose Petal Jam plus Tea and Cakes. I'm guessing this is probably like Rose Jam and Tea and Cakes. Yeah, and I've had this from another vendor before. Yeah, it smells good. I love rose jam. It's very sweet, though. Sometimes these overly sweet scents sometimes don't do well with me, but we'll see how this one does. Of course, I'll do a warm review on that. Some of these I may not have scent descriptions for because, like I said, I screwed up. So, London Mist. This is a floral and light earthy scent overlaid with moss and swirling mist. Oh, that one's pretty. Okay. Oh yeah, that one's, I like, I really like this one. That floral and earthy scent is nice. It's a little bit different than like your standard like floral scent. So I can really appreciate that one. Of course, I put the labels on backwards. Ugh, I'm a mess. Okay. Um, London Calling. Did I, I feel like I did I already do London Calling? Oh yeah, we did do London Calling. So this is what the one uh, another one of the Lily pucks or puds. <laughs> but you can see the embossed design on the top. That's super pretty. I love that. Right, I'm trying to remember what the other one was called that had like the water notes in it. 
I want to say coasts, coastlines, or I don't know. Anyways, Arctic, Art, ugh, Arctic Sea Coast. Jeez, this is horrible. I'm sorry, you guys. A crisp ocean scent with fresh green seaweed in a good way and a touch of ozone. If I remember, I really like this one. I'm really digging ozone scents lately. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one. Yeah, this one has that ozone. It's like a crisp with like a bite to it. I think that's how I would describe ozone is like with a, a, a air scent with a bite. It almost smells like a man's cologne too. That one's nice. I really like that one. Of course, when they kind of border on man's cologne, then I start losing interest. There's a scent from another vendor that's like an ozone scent that I absolutely love. It's kind of close to that, but not quite. Coffee hazelnut and my brainiac. Look at this, you guys. Coffee hazelnut. It's hazelnut coffee. Man, I was just like, what was I thinking? I wasn't thinking is the problem. This is like when I used to make myself hazelnut coffee. I used to love hazelnut coffee. That was like my addiction. And this smells exactly like it does on a morning when I would be making my hazelnut coffee. I love the scent of that one. That might just have to be for like memory purposes. Okay, this is from the Tea Room, apricot black tea. And you know it, again, black tea with a hint of apricot. Let's go here. I just, I can't believe sometimes the things that I do. This is really pretty. It's like a, it really is just a little bit of apricot. It's not that much. Not overpowering whatsoever. The tea is very subtle as well. So this is a nice light scent. If you're scared of like tea scents, this would probably be a good one to like start off with. Okay, one that I actually did need a scent description for, 20, 221B Baker Street. And this is the warm, rich scent of su sweet cherry pipe tobacco, vanilla, and deep soft leather armchairs. This one was part of, I think this is the London or the either the tea room, I can't remember. I love, for some reason, I love t like the scent of pipe tobacco. I think it just is a different scent and it can be very sweet if done correctly. And this one's really nice. The leather is not super strong, which I appreciate. That one's really pretty. I can see this one being really good in like the bedroom. Okay, here's part more of the coffee sampler. Coffee, cocoa, Kona, mocha. I did spend some time in Hawaii. I was lucky enough that my cousin was stationed, my cousin's husband was stationed on the army base out there. And I got to go, before I joined the military, I got to go out there for a month. It's a rich Kona coffee with chocolate, vanilla, cream, coconut, and a touch of cardamom. So. This one's pretty, the chocolate is nice in here. I don't get a lot of coconut in here. Well, not on cold anyways. Maybe a little bit of coconut. It's chocolate, but it's it's different. It's a nice, different type of scent. So, like coffee scents, always. I, I didn't like coffee for a long time. Okay, so this is Coffee Epic Day. How can you not love a name like Epic Day? So this is a blend of rich, dark coffee, cinnamon, clove, and pink peppercorns. I was thrown off when I first smelled this because I didn't know the scent description. I was like, what is that? This one is so unique. I've, like, I would never think to blend coffee with clove. But you really get a strong clove scent. I don't know what pink peppercorn smells like on their own. I feel like I've had, well, no, that's pink Himalayan salt I'm thinking of that I, I put on, that I use for my salt. I don't know. This one's pretty though. That clove really gives it a different kind of scent. I'll, I'll be interested to warm that because it's so different, you know? Okay, cactus and sea salt. And yes, I did it again with the ca <laughs> cactus and sea salt is so standard, but I'll read it anyways. Green cactus, fresh sea spray, sea moss, and driftwood. I love cactus and sea salt. That's just one of like my go-to scents. It's a good blender too. If you've never blended cactus and sea salt, it's really good with like clean cotton, uh, could be good with like salty sea air probably. 
well actually no it is kind of a, a kind of a sea air type scent so maybe not but clean cotton is a good one i can see it being really good with like a citrus scent as well or maybe like a fruity note okay this one is malabar coast and this is a rich and sultry blend of warm spices featuring crushed black peppercorns the other reason that i placed an order here as well like i said i, I tend to stick to my tried and true here is the Im imprint i guess we'll call it the not the embed the imprint oh that's good that's like totally different than i was thinking this reminds me of like going to like a spice market or something. Not that I've been to a spice market, but I can imagine like what a spice, you know, a place where all the spices were out and you were getting all the, the scents. It sounds, it seems really, what's the word? Uh, I can't think of the word. Anyways, where was I going with that? Oh yes, the reason I wanted to order from Destination Wax. So I have another vendor that I love she does really unique blends, like really unique blends, but she hasn't been making wax in a long time. And these scents were some of the, like the same, along the same line of things that she would make. So I was looking for a, van, a vendor that had some different kind of scents because I was getting kind of bored of like some of the other places I've been ordering. And so I was like, well, this seems to fit the bill. So that's why I made this order. Orang, I don't know why I always think of Bangarang, the song Bangarang by that, I'm trying to think of who sings it right now. That really electronic group. Anyways, this is Orang. <laughs> I'm going to think of that song every time I do that. So this is Champagne, Peaches, and Vanilla. I can't remember what destination this was. I feel like it was maybe the, the Halloween one. I can't remember. That one's actually really pretty. I'm not the biggest fan of champagne, but actually, surprisingly, the peaches, which I'm not a lover of either, really makes this scent for me. This is a really pretty, like, ripe, fresh peach. I know some people, oh, that's good. That, I really like that. I can't wait to warm that. Um, I know that some people say that peaches smell like cat urine. <laughs> Fortunately, I've never met a peach that did that to me. Ghostess. This is one of the reasons that I ordered the Halloween destination or whatever it was that I ordered. Uh, Parma violets and toasted marshmallow. I love violets mixed with marshmallow. This is such a good scent from almost any vendor. If I see violets mixed with anything, I'm probably going for it unless it's mixed with another floral, then I'm probably not. She's got a nice marshmallow too. Mm, and that violet scent is just really nice. It's just not one of those overly floral scents, like buttercups and stuff like that. I can't do lilacs. It's not one of my favorite deals. Man of Vitality. And I think this is one that my printer decided to screw up. Okay, this is leather and black pepper. So yeah, I didn't get a, I didn't get a sick sticker. Poor little guy. He missed out on the sticker and oh this so this is the one that looked like it had like a tarnish added on top let me pull this one out because i think this one looks really cool like it looks like she put see that like gray tarnish on top reminds me of stamping if you've ever been around like a stamping party or whatever they do a lot of embossing and all kinds of crap so this one is pretty strong on the leather I don't know how I feel about this one. It's a very manly scent. I feel like I have an overabundance of manly scents right now. So maybe that's why I'm kind of just like, you know, like it's pretty for sure. But it'll be a man cave or, you know, going in the, wherever the men might be. Okay, tea and cakes. I want to say this is part of the tea sampler. This is just a standard tea and cakes. I've had this a million times from different vendors and it smells pretty much the same from everybody. It's just, it's super sweet actually. You don't get a lot of tea in this one, surprisingly, now that I think about it. It's really sweet. It's a different kind of cake. It's not like birthday cake. 
you know, I, I hate birthday cake most of the time in most blends. So I don't like those overly sweet, sweet bakery things anymore. Like I can't, when I first started into it, I was like birthday cake, everything. And then I realized really quick that I was like, that's not for me. Okay, the next one is Coast of Sicily. And again, so cute, really pretty, nice detail on that. And this one is lavender and violets mingle with the salty ocean breeze of the Sicilian coast. This one's actually really pretty. Yeah, this one's really pretty. Oh, this I can see warming this in my daughter's bedroom just as like a pretty girly scent. I'm not a big fan of lavender, but I'm I don't I'm not really detecting a strong hint of lavender in here. It feels like everything is mixed up really nicely. I get the salty sea air too, which is odd. You know, usually when you get lavender scents, sorry, I'm like all over my words. Usually when you get lavender scents, they overtake everything sometimes I feel like. Oregon Coast was another one. And again, with the prettiness. And did I, oh, here we go, Oregon Coast. Fresh ocean air, salty seaweed, spree, sea spray, beach flowers, and driftwood. And I swear I've had this scent from a million different vendors. This must be like one oil that a lot of people use. It's kind of light, a little bit on the lighter side. Kind of just like a medium scent load right now that I'm smelling. So we'll have to see how that one warms. And then Sherlock was just kind of a random one that I ordered. And Sherlock is a warm and woodsy pipe tobacco, heavy on the tobacco. I was really into tobacco scents at that, that day that I ordered. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, um, this one, it almost smells sweet. Even though it says heavy on the tobacco, it's, it's kind of sweet. This one's really pretty. It's a little bit lighter. It's not a heavy tobacco like I was thinking it was going to be. So we'll stick that one right there. So that is Sherlock. And then Mirror of the Witch, which of course I don't have the label. Let's see if I somehow... Okay, here we go. Cotton candy, orange, and strawberry. I've really been in trying to expand and get into fruity scents. Oh, this one's nice. This one's fruity and sweet at the same time. It's a pretty strawberry in here and an orange as well. I really like that one. She seems to know her scents and um, good blenders, so that's good. It's always a bonus when you find someone that just kind of knows like what they're doing. London Rain, do I have this one with it down? Uh, crap. Well, this is pretty self-explanatory anyway, so London Rain. Maybe I do have, you know what, hold on, maybe I do have it. So I think I got two London Rain somehow. Or was that London Calling? Yeah. Yeah, okay, never mind. So London Rain is lighter. It's a lighter scent, but it's also more girly. Really pretty with the air note, but girly is what I'm smelling out of here. A little bit more of a girly type note. Okay, just a few more things here. I think I'm getting down to the end. Bride of the Century. Oh, and I did get a label for this one. Lavender, chocolate, and pink roses. I think this one was, oh, and then of course, look at the embellishment happening there. Embossing, sorry, I keep saying embellishment. Ooh, this one, uh, I don't know how I feel about this one. This one is weird to me, to my nose. I don't know, it's, uh, yeah, I don't, not a fan of this one and I don't really know why. I don't know if it's because that lavender is so herbal or if the roses are making it too floral. Not a fan of that one. But we'll wait, we'll reserve judgment for warm melting okay so chamomile tea was from the tea room sampler sorry i don't know what that is 
and again, I, <laughs> I felt the need to make a label for chamomile tea, even though, you know, sweet and fresh, a lovely spa scent. This one's pretty. You know, I've never had chamomile on its own, so I know I've smelt it in like Lush products before, but it's been mixed with other things, so it's kind of hard for me to detect, but yeah, I mean, it's a good tea scent. It's a little bit softer than some of the other ones I've had that I've smelled here. Lady Grey. I feel like I did this already. Did I do Lady Grey? I feel like I did. I think this, uh, I don't know. If I already did, I smell tea and sweetness. Or is this the one? No. Yeah. I think I just smelled tea and sweetness. Not sure on that one. Because I don't have the label or the scent description anywhere nearby, of course. Cape Cod Coast is the next one. And Cape Cod Coast is salty air, crashing waves, myrtle leaves, fresh cedarwood, and marine algae. Um, it's whatever that says. Perfume type. This one I remember smelling. Oh, that one's, ooh, on the, on the side it smells really good, but it's really hard to smell. This one smells like a super light. I'm gonna have to let this one sit for a little bit because I'm not, I'm getting a really pretty note, but I can't smell. Man, I don't know. This one's kind of light, but it does smell good to my nose. I wish that one was a little bit stronger because that one smells really good to my nose. It's just not strong enough. Okay, and the next one is mango black tea, and I didn't make a mango black tea. <laughs> Maybe I actually smartened up halfway through this process. I don't know. Oh, the mango's strong in here. Like that apricot tea. It was like the apricot was just nice and mellow. This one is pretty, the mango overtakes that tea, I think. So I'm getting a strong mango. That one I'm gonna be, have to be, be careful with because the fruit note is really strong in there, like that mango scent. Okay, and then Danish butter cookies, which I believe is part of the tea room. Yeah, I'm getting down to the bottom here. And I actually, when I did, the first time I filmed this, I actually described this one so perfect. And then when I went to look at the scent description, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I said. So this, the scent description is buttery Danish sugar cookies, buttermilk, burnt sugar, caramel, and sweet creamy vanilla. What I was saying is it smells like a Danish cookie, but it smells like, you know, when you kind of burn the, the cookies just a little bit so that they're crispy, that's what I smell. And it says right on here, burnt sugar. And that's exactly what I'm, I'm getting, Danish cookie and the burnt sugar. It smells so good. Oh, that one I could just smell all day. This is a bakery, bakery scent that I can get on board with for sure. And then, okay, so last, oh, here, here we go. Here is the note that was attached. I like these little touches. You know, she took the time to even spell my name right. And she took the time to sign her name and say, she even included the Sherlock that I ordered with my destination, so that was really nice. So actually, the destinations that I ordered, now that I have the receipt that was at the very bottom, Coastal Waters, Coffee Bar, Ghost Town, that, that was, it was, that's what it was called, Ghost Town, London, and Tea Room. So yes. Okay, so my free samples, which I always appreciate samples, I. I can't say enough like how many times I go back and want to order some of my samples. So this is That Man. And I'm just going to have to go on guessing. I feel like this is probably a tobacco scent. I feel like that's what I'm smelling. This would be like if you walked into a tobacco smoking place and there were men stand, you know, sitting around and smoking their pipes. I feel like this is what you would smell. I feel like maybe there's like a, a wood wood note in there, maybe like a mahogany or something. You know what I mean? Like if they had like a big 
one of those big old school desks that held like tobacco scent in it. That's what I would feel like that would smell like. Lavender sugar cookie. This is pretty standard. You guys know how I feel about lavender, but sometimes mixed with things, it's okay. This one's, uh, we'll have to see. I do like sugar cookie. The sugar cookie in here smells really good. I'm just never like the biggest fan of lavender, so we'll see. It's not a bad lavender, but that sugar cookie's really nice. And then last but not least is a black cedar and juniper. Oh, that one's fresh. That one is strong and fresh. I've never had a black cedar before. It's quite different. Juniper has always been kind of a fresh scent to me. So that one's actually really pretty. So these are good. I like I like putting these little ones in my daughter's bathroom scentsy warmer. Those seems those size seem to do really well in there. Okay, so that is it. That was a pretty large first order. I usually don't do that, but her destinations all sounded so good that I was just like, oh, let's just go big or go home on this one. <laughs> but I will be, of course, putting these in my warm reviews and testing them out to see how they do and all that jazz. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this was kind of a mess of a haul. I just I filmed it yesterday and then I just wasn't liking how it was coming out and I'm probably not going to like how it comes out much this time if it comes out any better I don't know but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it and oh um one thing really quick too and I'm sure somebody has explained this somewhere in the thing the ordering process I actually emailed my order to I think it's Rebecca uh I actually messaged her through Etsy and then she said e can you email your order to this website or to this email and I was like sure and then so we I sent the order that way and then she ended up um, doing the PayPal thing with me and that kind of thing I think for some reason Etsy is expensive if you purchase off of there because they they have to jack up the prices a little bit because Etsy takes out like a portion so it's easier if you just order through Rebecca I think and probably cheaper I think that says that somewhere on her website, yeah. So anyways, yeah, if you have to do that, just message her through Etsy and then find out, you know, what her email address is and you can order that way. So, yeah, super easy and she's really nice. I didn't have any problems whatsoever. The turnaround time, I feel like was, let me look at my receipt really quick and see if I can, ah, oh, dang it, of course I, <laughs> I'm such a mess. When did I place this order? Does it say on here? 21st today is, what is today? Today is May 13th. So like a two to three week turnaround time right now. I didn't notice on the box, but, well, I can't. Let's see if I can just turn it here a little bit without showing my, isn't that cute? She puts her little stamp all over the box too. So that's a really nice added touch as well. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling now. You guys get the gist. If you have any questions, please ask them below and I'd be happy to answer or, you know, we can just chit chat. I always like when you guys comment. It's always fun in the comment section. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.